hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial i'm going to be helping you to answer your tutorial sheets and today we're going to begin with uh, tutorial sheet one and i'll start with question one so when you look at this uh, part here you can see to say this is ts1 q1 cbu so in case you want to search for any question in your tutorial sheet to make it easier you just go on um, on what's this on youtube and just type this and that question will come so I'll, i think i'll make a video on how you search um, questions from my channel yeah uh, in case you are looking for a specific question you want to watch now instead of you starting to scroll down to scroll up yeah I'll show you. So let's quickly begin and um, let's quickly begin answering the question. So the first question is saying list uh, the elements of each of the following sets. Then the first uh, question there is x is such that x is a natural number less than 5. So when you look at this question, the first thing you need to first um, figure out is this part here saying natural number less than five so you need to know first what are natural numbers so we all know to say natural numbers are counting numbers starting from one so this set is just going to be equal to it's just going to be uh since natural numbers are counting numbers starting from one so i'm going to write na natural numbers up to four since it's, it's saying less than five so i'm going to write up to four So this is the solution for the first part of that question. Let's quickly move on to the next question. So the next question is saying um, x is an integer greater than negative 3. So negative numbers um, increase in value when you are starting from the biggest negative numbers this side, coming this side, coming towards the positive. Yeah going towards the zero on the number line if this is the number line let me just do this if that is the number line yeah, so when we talk about integers or how um, integers increase in value uh, integers increase as you are coming from the negative infinity uh, going to the positive infinity they increase in value so uh, this question is asking us to find the integers or to list the integers which are w which are greater than negative 3 so meaning we are going to so they are saying is a negative integer greater than negative uh, three. So this is going to be this. So we're going to have um, negative uh, two is greater than negative three and negative one. So this is the set. Uh, this is the solution set for the second question. Then the third question is saying x is a positive number less than negative five. Do we have a positive number which is less than negative five? So this side we don't have, so this is just an empty set. And then we have this symbol there, which is union uh, one, two, three. So union one, two, three. So this is just um, so union one, two, three. So to find the union set between this empty set and uh, this, when you combine nothing plus anything you simply have that same thing. So this empty set plus this set one, two, three, uh, you still get um, the same answer, which is one, two, three. So this is what we're going to have as our solution. Yeah. So the other question now is saying, uh, let me just do this. The other question is saying, um 
x is a positive even even number less than 10 so positive even number less than 10 meaning we're starting from 0 up to 8 even numbers are counting numbers which are divisible by 2 even numbers are numbers which are divisible by 2 or numbers in which 2 can go in without leaving a remainder so what's simply talking about 0 we're talking about 2 4 then we have 6 then we have 8 so this is what, what we're going to have then we have intersection there then here we're saying x is such that x is an integer so we're, we're finding the intersection set between this and an integer we've not been given whether it's greater or less than what there's no condition there so we're just taking the whole set of integers so hence we're going to have something like this yes so when you find the intersection set between this and uh, integers because for integers we're starting from negative infinity to uh, positive infinity and these should be all numbers this is the set of integers so when you combine this plus that um, we're going to have the same set as our answer so in other words the solution set for this question here is just this that's that, that's the answer and then we we'll quickly move on to the fifth question fifth question is x is such that x is equal to 4k minus 1 where k is equal to these numbers so what we're going to ha do there when you've been given a when you've been given an equation a function in form of a function so for you to define this function you need to place in these for you to find the output values which are the uh, the range so for you to find the range you have to plug in these and how do we do that so let's uh plug in those values in the given equation when you put zero where there is k there we're going to have uh four times zero which is zero minus one will get negative one when you put one there we're going to have four times one four minus one you get three when you put uh two there you have eight minus one you get um oh sorry first we put two there yes um we put two there we're going to have eight minus one which is seven and then we put three there we're going to have two of minus one we get eleven and then we put uh four there we're going to have sixteen minus one which is fifteen and then we put five there so when we put five there we're going to have uh twenty minus one which is going to give us nineteen so this is the solution set for that question for this question here question five so let's quickly move on to the next question the next question is saying x is an integer x is an integer so meaning here we're dealing with the set of integers meaning from negative infinity to positive infinity but uh put in mind to say you're dealing with whole numbers when you talk of integers we're dealing with whole numbers yeah negative and positive all numbers and then this side they are saying intersection that so now when we intersect the set of integers with that we only have two integers in this uh, solution set the rest of the numbers are irrational numbers so we have the root of two there is an irrational number the and then 3.14 is also an irrational number this is pi yeah this is pi so when you talk about integers, well, we only have 1 and 7 there. So meaning the solution set there will just be, when we find the intersection set between this and that, we're just going to have, um, we're just going to have 1 and 7 as our answer. So this is going to be our solution set. So don't mind my handwriting. I'm not yet used to 
writing using this but I'll, as time goes on I'll be writing smart things so yeah so for the first question here we're even done let's move on to B so B is saying given that a is equal to negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 list the elements list the elements of the following sets the first set that we've been given there is uh, this and then we've been told to say we have to list the elements of this set so the first question there the elements of this set we're going to have uh, so we first have to plug in uh, this x since that we've been told to say x is a member of this x is a member of a so meaning while there is x there i will be putting uh numbers which are in a so we put negative 2 on x there negative 2 to the power 3 we get negative 8 we put negative 1 there negative 1 to the power 3 we get negative 1 and then we put 0 0 to the power 3 we get 0 there and then we put 1 1 to the power 3 we get 1 then we put 2 2 to the power 3 we're getting 8 so this is um this is uh what we are going to have as our solution set for the first question we quickly move on to the next question so the next question is this one so the next question is this one this one is saying x squared plus x where x is a member of that so you simply do the same as what we did on the first part there where we just replace negative 2 where there is x there so when you put negative 2 there we're going to have 4 negative 2 squared will give us 4 plus 2 i uh, mean plus negative 2 will get negative 2 as our first value there uh, oh sorry yeah we'll get positive 2 not negative 2 we're going to get positive 2 not negative 2 then when you put negative 1 they are going to have 1 minus 1 to give you a 0 when you put 0 there you still get the same 0 but since we are listing sets you don't repeat one element more than once you just put it you just write it once there and then we put 1 there we are going to have 1 squared plus 1 you get 2 uh, so this 2 we've gotten again is repeating itself so you don't have to write it again so the other one we're going to have is when you put 2 there we're going to have 4 plus 2 which will give us 6 so 6 yes so this is the solution set for the second question there so quickly move on to these other questions or maybe first let me just make I am sure this is not difficult let me also make uh, the solutions for question 2 so I'll be making solutions for all the questions in your tutorial sheet and watch out for a group where I'll just be posting tutorial videos on telegram I'll send the link and only serious people will be allowed to join that group but for now I'll be sending you all my lecture videos and then and, uh, and, and then for the tutorial videos I'll be sending them in, in that other group but for these ones I'm making now I'll give you and then we have um, these other questions these I these are straightforward the same way I've answered these that's the way you answer these remaining two so you just have to re be replacing this negative two you put where there's x you so you find the solution there you write all the what's this you list all the elements after putting in these values same applies to this part here you also do the same while there's x there you put negative 2 and then you simplify the expressions and list the outputs there so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, so that you should not be missing out the videos that i'm going to be posting i'll be posting uh, the links and um, I, I i mean i'll be posting the videos of your tutorial sheets uh, solutions so that um, you can easily access them on my youtube channel and for you to be notified for you to be getting notifications whenever I post 
you have to subscribe to my channel simply just click on that button which is below the screen uh, which says subscribe so that you don't miss out see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom